terminal, the first place that people see when they arrive at the city by train. Now it's five platforms, 12 directions of travel and a big shopping center. But of course it wasn't always like this. Now to get to the platforms you need to go up. But at first trains came in at street level. The first terminal's building looked like this. Later it was rebuilt and made wider. In front of it appeared the chapel that was built in honor of the Russian Emperor Alexander III family's survival in the railroad disaster. The whole ensemble looked like this. The location of the terminal and the chapel is clearly visible on the maps of those times. The trains came in perpendicular to the facade. At the time, the station name was Riga 1. After the building of the railroad bridge over Daugava in 1940, the station that was located over the street level appeared, and it was named Riga Main. From 1919, the United Stations were named Riga Passenger, despite the fact that technically the names of Riga 1 and Riga Main were still in use. In addition, there was also a terminal called Riga 2, also called uh, Boldera Tukums or Mitova Terminal. It was located at the place where 13th January Street is now, and it's clearly visible in these photos. In 1925, the terminal chapel disappears. It's known that there was a plan to reconstruct the terminal, but it wasn't realized. During the World War II, the terminal was badly damaged, and by 1947 the building has been almost completely rebuilt. But in the 50s, work on the new building begins, which involves removing the almost reconstructed terminal and replacing the rails. In the 60s, the new terminal building that was created from a project led by Soviet architects opens its doors to the passengers. It looks very different to the old one, and the famous clock appeared too. And this version of the building I have already seen myself. In the beginning of the new millennium, the Oregon shopping center grows around the terminal. The clock tower has changed too. Now there is a small restaurant where you can enjoy the panorama of Riga while having a cup of coffee. This is the usually unusual story of one terminal.